I just finished our uh, first batch ever of canned meat. Um, got pork here, salmon here. Um, there was a really insane sale on at a grocery store at one place uh, where James was working. Um, so we were getting, he was bringing home packages of um, spring salmon. Yeah, spring salmon for like four bucks a piece. So, yeah, got that all canned up. Now, being that I have never done this before and trying to follow YouTube videos and instructions online and whatnot, and you see some of my meat came out, um, some water from the canner wound up getting into some of the jars. Uh, ooh, they're still hot. I shouldn't be touching them, but <laughs> anyway, um, well, we'll see what happens when these cool down. Hopefully, uh, hopefully most of them are still good. Definitely smells delicious though. But yeah, so I don't think I had the, the lids on tight enough when I first put them in. Um, yeah. oh, some meat that we lost. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the seal, but I'll find out in a bit and uh, I'll let you know. It's been a little over a half hour since we pulled these jars out and I thought I might have messed up, but all the lids are already sucked in and they're, they haven't even finished cooling yet. Um, these jars are uh, honey jars. Um, these are obviously your proper, proper jars. And, uh, yeah, even though I didn't put the lids on quite tight enough, um, it worked. I am absolutely happy with myself. And uh, it, this wasn't meat that came out. It was just uh, some, some of pig pig's fat. And I'm actually surprised at how much fat was left behind because she wasn't she didn't have an overly uh, thick layer on her when we processed her and uh, even more of it got trimmed away when I was cleaning up the meat and getting rid of anything that was bad or dirty uh, for this um, oh Nina one thing I did look up was if you could stack jars and do like two layers because the canning pot that we have is certainly deep enough. Um, and the one lady just said, yeah, you just have to have some kind of a rack in between so that the water can always flow. <laughs> so I made this uh, divider rack out of uh, a chunk of that egg crate that's uh, used for overhead lighting. And <laughs> it kind of warped a little bit, but it worked oh nina oh my lord nina hang on a second all right i guess nina really needs to go into the woods for a pee so yeah we have success my first time ever water bath canning meat and it looks good